Now it looks like this season with the Vikings, Cook was looking to earn 10.4 million for this year. And it looks like that's a standing point where Cook won't budge from. Looks like that's the asking price he's looking for, 10 million. And as I stated, an offer was given by Miami, but he turned it down. Now, Cook is also being looked at other teams in the league. Again, their interest hasn't been as strong as Miami. Miami was the front runner. But let me ask you all a question. I'm going to start off with you, Jeff. Looking around at the light landscape with, you know, with running backs, looking at you know, what's available in free agency, do you think that Dalvin Cook overplayed his hand by rejecting this offer from Miami? Absolutely. I'd say absolutely. He wants $10 million. He wants $10 million a year. But literally, remember, the Dolphins have, like, I looked it up, $13.1 million in, ca- in cap space. They have uh, other priorities right now. Getting Dalvin Cook would be an absolute luxury if they can get him as an affordable deal. $10 million, you work at Saquon Barkley numbers or Josh Jacobs number under the franchise tag. It's just not – running backs are not being valued that well in the NFL, in today's NFL. Getting $10 million – for a 27 year old 27 year old running back that has a lot of tread on those tires it's asking a bit too much yes the dolphins were like 25th in like rushing yards and like 19th in yards per carry but dalvin cook he wants everyday back everyday running back money but they already have a running back core like with um raheem mostert and wilson already there one two punch what would dalvin cook be adding if you want like 10 million dollars I do not see I do not see any NFL team right off the top of my head to be like, hey, we'll pay you ten million, easy. There's, the market just doesn't fit in today's NFL. It's all about the quarterbacks and the tread, the longevity of running backs is like five, six years, and Dalvin Cook's getting up there on that age. So I say he's overplayed ten. He's gonna have to take a pay cut. Definitely, definitely. Dante, let me ask you. As I stated, you look at the running back landscape, you see how running backs are looked at throughout the league. Owners aren't trying to spend that much on running backs. Dalvin Mm -hmm. Cook, he's been free agent for a while. Miami gives him an offer, the only team at the moment to give give him an offer since being released. Do you think he overplayed his hand by uh, rejecting that offer? Hell yeah. (laughs) I mean, here's the thing. I, I know personally... And I've said this once and I'll say it again. I know this personally because I watched this dude play at Florida State, right? And it's one of those things where it's like, buddy, you got you you've already had injury concerns throughout your career. Let's let's dial it back a little bit and just chalk it up as okay. I played a lot in college. I've been asked to do a lot in the NFL. And at this point in time, my value has diminished because of that, and I just have to realize that and put that in my back pocket. Now, if I had to break down, and this is this is just my honest opinion, right? If I had to break down what the franchise tag and how much that generally that these players are getting paid per game to be on the franchise tag, Tony Pollard's getting paid $10.09 million a year. Which is roughly five hundred nine or uh, five thousand nine hundred uh, five hundred thousand ninety four dollars or uh, ninety four thousand. Oh my god, five hundred. <laughs> oh my god, the math, bro. <laughs> five hundred grand. Let's just say that you're getting yes. paid about five hundred grand, six hundred grand a a, uh, a a game, right? If I was Dalvin Cook, how many games on average do you think Dalvin Cook plays a year? A year, about t- about thirteen, about thirteen games, give or take, because he's always going to get hurt at some point. And the way he runs the ball, he's bound to get hurt. So about thirteen games, maybe. All right, so thirteen games at six hundred thousand dollars, right? This is how I would value it if I was a GM. Actually, I'll knock it down to twelve, just in case, just knowing his injury history. Realistically, twelve. $7.2 million is what, to me, Dalvin Cook is worth. It just is what it is, pal. I mean, I got to take into fact that the franchise tag is worth the amount of money that it's worth, and it's taking an average of all the running backs in the league and saying, bam, this is what the minimum is, and this is what you're going to get paid and keep you on the team. 
if I'm looking at this as a, I'm going to put this money in the, in the pot and say that, look at your evaluation of your career. Jeff has said and evaluated as our guy, as our analyst that says, you're healthy for about 13 games out of the year. We're going to knock one game off of that just to be safe for the organization standpoint. That way we don't overpay $7.2 million is your evaluation for you right now at the, at your given time. And this is even taking out what you've done in the league. This is taking out your age. This is just taking out what we feel like your production is going to be based off of these factors. And I think to me, if I was a GM, that would be my evaluation every single time for every single player in the league. Yeah, the franchise tag plus what you were worth as far as what we can expect you uh, from every game, taking out your statistics and, and your age. Bam. So we're even overvaluing with that because I'm not even accounting for age. But still, to me, that's way beyond fair for, <laughs> for what you're going to get out of him because whatever team he goes to, he's going to be splitting carries anyways. So you're just going to be overpaying for a, a guy that was a – a starter before that had a good season last year, but you got to learn at this point in time, nobody's picking you up because people don't feel like they need you right now. <laughs> Just is what it is. So that's, that's all. That's how I think my evaluation would be. All right. And Dante, sorry. And oh, I'm sorry. To point out, sorry. He's only played a full season one time in his whole career. And that was last year. That was like last season he played 17 games. He's been the, before that his highest was like 14 games. Mm-hmm. But, Sora, let me ask you, because if I could play devil's advocate, let me rebuttal to what Dante said. So I understand he's stating the length of time that Dalvin Cook has been playing, but let me just add this on. Since 2019, Dalvin Cook is the third leading rusher at 5,024 yards. He's only missed, let's see, out of the leading rusher right now is Aaron Jones with 62 games. Guess how many games Darren, um, Dalvin Cook has? 58 games. So he hasn't missed much. Although he won't complete a full season, it's not like he's going to miss multiple games like that. Maybe one or two games per season. He might miss out, you know, come out early in the game. But he's not missing that much. And as I stated, since 2019, the only running back to constantly, except with Derrick Henry, excuse me, Nick Chubb, to constantly hit over 1,300 yards. So with all that being said, and I said before, with the landscape of running backs right now, Sora, let me ask you, do you think Dalvin Cook overplayed his hand? Before you before you answer, Sor, just to rebuttal <laughs> back to rebuttal back to you, Vic. With my evaluation. <laughs> no, with my evaluation, do you think that that was fair? Or that would be fair if oh, I was it, in a negotiation room with, with Dalvin? It's very fair because you're looking at it at the side of the GM. I'm yes. looking at it at the side of the player. So you would would you overpay him more than what I'm? If you were a GM with another team, would you over would you pay him over the seven point two million dollars that I'm evaluating? To be one thousand percent honest, if you paid Dalvin Cook under ten mil, you're underpaying him because, like I said, since two thousand nine, mm-hmm. only two running backs were better. In that time frame, he hasn't missed that many games. He he got production on the field. Again, if you're saying he missed a lot of time, he's still producing. If he's healthy for a full season, and say, let's just say a GM will get him at $8 million. With all that production, say he gets 13,000 yards, over 10 touchdowns. You don't think that's worth it? I would say that it's not worth it, but uh, who do you think is going to have a better season, him or Tony Pollard, if he was a star, if he was Dalvin on another Cook. team? If Dalvin Cook right really? now is on the team. Really? He, really? Specifically, if we're talking about Dalvin Cook on Miami, people are going to go crazy because, again, you underestimate that coaching staff and what that offensive mind that that Coach um, Daniels has. The one missing piece is that running back. If Dalvin Cook gets on the Miami Dolphins team, I'm telling you right now, NFL. I don't. I'm an Eagles fan. I'm. The, I'm letting you know right now. NFL needs to be on watch. We have a new hot team. If especially if Tua can stay healthy, it is a wrap. That's a big that if. Defense, too. That offense, and I understand Miami's offensive line needs some work. And listen. They're trying to get that line together. They're doing everything they can. If they have that missing piece in Dalvin Cook, what are you doing? You you got the wide receivers. You got the running back. You have decent tight end play. It's so some people said <laughs> some people say we live in an, 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 an echo chamber. Look at this. Me and Vic are disagreeing. <laughs> in a respectful way. And, yeah. mm-hmm. It's and your Vic, opinion, and this is mine. I respect it, and it makes sense. 
Yeah, I totally see what you're saying. Like I said, you're looking at it the side of the GM. Listen, I have a certain amount of money that I can use. I have this talent out there. Like we said, he's been on the market for a while. He's been often injured. He he's not going to command. He's not going to get the same amount of money because, like you said, running backs aren't looked at the same way as they used to before. That's and facts. It, it, it's by design. Let's be honest. Because quarterbacks have to be paid. In order to pay the quarterbacks this amount of money, there has to be a position that's devalued. What's the next best position to devalue? Running backs. So that's why you see running backs being used the way they are. Right now, you still have Kareem Hunt out there. There's a plethora of running backs that are out there. Why aren't they getting picked up? Because everyone's trying to play the slow game. Wait until training camp start. There's an injury, then we could pick someone up. Especially if you have a talent like Dalvin Cook, and you get him at, say, we're going rock bottom here five a year. Do you understand the steal that GM just just got? It'd be mm. insane. All right, Sor. Go ahead, Cook, my man. Is this finally time? <laughs> it is finally time. My bad. I just, I just, I, I just. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just yeah. Oh, but wait, one more thing, if I could. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Dalvin Cook. <laughs> just had to bring it up. Dalvin Cook only missed one less game than Nick Chubb, and made three more games than Derrick Henry. I'm gonna leave that at that. <laughs> let it let Sora cook. I mean, am I good to go now? I'm even gonna... <laughs> you need it. Am I good to go? You're good. Okay. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, everything hurts. It was not <laughs> worth a bit. Uh yeah, I do I do think he messed up doing uh what to say. I do think he messed up not going to Miami because you talk about, you know, run backs out there like Kareem Hunt. Let's also not forget, love him or hate him, Zeke Elliott also is still out there. Still hate him. So, <laughs> I, that's why I said love or. I know how you and I feel, Vic. Um, but yeah, running backs just aren't getting paid again. You've got Barkley who doesn't want to play on the franchise tag. You've got Josh Jones or Josh Jacobs who is on the franchise tag. Mm-hmm. I, again, running running backs are kind of a dime a dozen. Or not a dime a dozen, I should say. They're just kind of replaceable. I mean, look at the Eagles who have two running backs who are low risk, high reward, I should say. But they have been injured, and both of them aren't even accounting for $5 million against the cap space. I was going to say high re- uh, it's, it's a lot of risk, low reward. Yeah. Wait. Uh, high risk, low reward. High risk, low reward, yeah. But, I mean, even then, I, I do think it's going to be the exactly what you said, Vic. Some running back is going to get injured during training camp, and then, you know, Dalvin Cook, Kareem Hunt, Zeke would be called up. Or another opportunity is they're going to miss this year, train forward, and then wait to see what happens if contracts run out. Like if Barkley's like, I ain't signed the franchise tag. If Josh Jacobs is like, yeah, screw you, Raiders, I'm out. Yeah, him so and Saquon. At, this, at this point, it's kind of a waiting game, but for the other ones. But Dalvin Cook did kind of mess up with this because if he had it, if he yeah. had the offer, he should have taken it because now he risks having to miss an entire year. And we didn't even talk about Austin Eckler and his contract problems right now. Yeah, that is true. That is another one. And yep. hey, you never know. Maybe that's part of Dalvin Cook's plan because he understands either this year or next year. There's going to be a flood of running backs on that market. No one's going to really have to look at the draft for a running back when you look at the talent that will be available. And, I mean, it's also with running backs like Eckler, you're talking about somebody who can catch out the backfield, who's basically another receiver for you. You look mm-hmm. at the strong running backs like Nick Chubb. I mean, they just gained five yards of carry. So if you're not if you're not reliable with your hands or if you can't, you know, stiff arm somebody like King Henry stiff arming, you know, Josh Norman, <laughs> you're expendable. Poor Josh Norman. <laughs> a walking he will be a footnote. I mean, he will. He will. Shout, shout, shout out to Josh Norman, though. We saw your banner <laughs> at Coastal Carolina, but walk, yes. a walking, shout out to the Chanteliers. Mm-hmm. That's a walking meme ever since he left Carolina. Yeah. He said, he said, did you say the Chanteliers? Yeah, uh, the, the Chanticleers. 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 <laughs> yeah, the Chanticleers. I he said the Chanticleers. Chanticleers. <laughs> no, <laughs> Chant- Chanticleers. What are they leering at? Yeah, but I think we're all in agreement that Dalvin Cook overplayed his hand. 
I feel yeah, like you don't messed up, a hey, Ron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I think I think what you're dealing with is a lot of GMs that are feeling like me, and but the Dolphins felt like Vic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Dolphins felt like Vic, and all the other GMs in the NFL are like, mm, come on, son. <laughs> Son, who, uh, why are we going to make a roster spot for you where we're young all over the place? And another thing to take into consideration, th- look who's going to come up for the Dolphins in terms of uh, getting extensions. Next year, it's going to be Tua and Jalen Waddles. You hope. Right. Yeah, I mean, you hope, but Jalen Waddle, definitely you got to you gotta get some money in order to pay him and keep him. So There's one, there's one team that I'm surprised that hasn't reached out and nobody's talked about. Where's Kareem? What's Kareem Hunt doing right now? I don't. He's on the free agent market. Free agency soon. Yeah. Who would be the best back to compliment Nick Chubb as a as a just a beast all over? Dalvin Cook would give them a different dimension. That's crazy. crazy. If, listen. Exactly. If you're not, if you're not, <laughs> let's get crazy, Vic. I don't know how you would let go of Kareem Hunt, who is could be a starter for any team, then to go for Dalvin Cook. That's to me, that's wasted money. Then. Now we're wasting money. <laughs> Now we're just, now we're just not playing fair. <laughs> but 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 who's better, Dalvin Cook or Kareem Hunt, P- bar for bar? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take Dalvin. That's what I'm saying, bro. Give He's a. Right, you know what? I, I just thought of something. There is one team, and sorry, you know this. There's one team that if this happens, any any running back is you know what I'm saying. Like it's it's their game to run with them because if the Eagles were to lose Swift. And That's Penny. what I'm saying. With and the training two, camp, with the you're two left with Boston prones. Scott. Yep, you're left with Boston Scott, and you got my guy. Um, what's his face? Now that I'm forgetting his Kenneth name. Kenneth Gainwell. I keep on thinking of uh, Wendell Smallwood. Uh, I constantly call him Wendell Smallwood. He reminds <laughs> me just like he's the same the name thing. I haven't heard in years. <laughs> they're the same running back, and it's got the same. They're gonna have the same NFL career. But anyway, that's a team right there. Oh, if no, they no, lose their running play. backs, they don't have tell no me hands that. to play. You, they have no hands to play. They're gonna be forced to go out to look for a Kareem Hunt, or whoever else is available. If worse comes to worse, they have to pay for Dalvin Cook. But again, teams are taking these chances because they don't see running backs in volume the way they yeah. should. Because, I mean, you look at it, there's been talks of we're hoping, we being the Eagles, but the Eagles are like, we're hoping, you know, we can eventually make a contract for Swift. Nothing with Penny, though. And, I mean, the, to trade for Swift, it was only, what, a fourth rounder? Mm-hmm. So yes. again, yeah, I mean, you do make a good point. And again, I feel like Cook is going to be picked up after a training camp. Somebody's going to get injured, and then they're going to be like, "Hmm." Then force their hand. Oh uh, yeah, just uh, just uh, here's a check. Just write a number on it. Just wait for training camp because Dalvin Cook and D Hop are still available, which kind of blows my mind. You could probably, you could probably put together a sick free agent team right now. Well, D Hop, and it, it it makes me sick reading this. D Hop is waiting to see if the Chiefs are interested before signing with the team. Oh no! Oh and, no! Yeah, exactly. Oh I'm like, please no! Don't. Please don't! <laughs> please oh, don't! No. It's done. Oh no! I was gonna say that would be wild. 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 That would be bananas. Oh.